I have woken up to the most beautiful morning. Frost is covering the ground, but it's still sunny. I can't wait to go outside. I mean, look at that. So beautiful. Oh, and an even more beautiful sight. Chapel Restorers, bonjour! <laughs> In high-vis jackets, just when you thought the day couldn't get more perfect. Good morning, my darling. How are you? Oh, yes, I'm so happy to see you too. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? See, we've gone for the same idea on the scarf front. Red, red uh, Yeah, red scarf. What needed to warm us? Yeah. Gosh, it's cold today. Seven. Minus seven. seven. This morning. Wow. But it's beautiful. It, now the sunny south side is beautiful. I'm actually going to go for a walk, but I'm not taking the little one because I think it's too cold for him today. Yeah. yeah. Yes, you'd become a little icicle, wouldn't you? Yes, icicle dog. Look at this lovely dog. Onions. Oh! Very quickly because we need it. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. I don't understand why it is that the colder it is or the rainier it is, the keener I am to go outside. I just think that normal, average, warm days hold no interest for me. But this, oh my goodness, who wouldn't love coming out in this? I thought I'd end with no music, just so that you could hear the bird that I'm listening to in the forest. It's magical out here. I think I'm going to have to get a proper microphone to record nature sounds because the sounds at the land are unlike anywhere else I've ever been and they change in every season. So I had recorded several in the past for my patrons, but just with a normal microphone, I think I would like to make an actual CD of the nature sounds of La Lande, but it'll take me a whole year to make it because it will have to be in different spots over different seasons. But let me know if any of you would be interested in that, being able to listen to. All the little creatures of La Lande. Just arriving back at the chateau now and in fact I think I'll pop into the chapel to get an update from the restorers on my way into the kitchen for French onion soup. Philip and Stephanie are looking pretty chilly in the garden at the moment but as we know they're made of hardy stock. A little bit of cold's not gonna harm them. What a spectacular walk that was. This is my favourite sort of day. Hello? Je peux monter vous voir? 
J'arrive Bonjour Ah, ça avance Chaque fois que j'arrive, je vois une différence. C'est tellement minutieux. Parce qu'en fait, on vient chercher à chaque fois les, les arêtes. Euh, ce que vous aviez marqué avec les crayons. Ouais, ouais. What he's doing at the moment is that he's making sure that that flat plane ends exactly at the point that he's marked with the pencil, because that's the point at which the next plane should start. It's incredibly painstaking work. They have a great deal of patience to do this. It's been several days, as you've seen now, in a row, just working on these three vault ribs. Just going over and over and over again. The ones on the left and the right are nearly there. Just a tiny bit of smoothing left. This central one is the one that still needs a fair bit of work. But up at the top, it's starting to get there. Les félicitations. Merci. Je vais vous laisser et euh, je vais rentrer. Vous devez avoir froid parce qu'aujourd'hui, waouh. Ah, ça, mais... ça va, les pieds Ça va. <rire> Tout à l'heure. <rire> On my way down, I'll just pause and show you the view of the altar and the choir from here. It's so beautiful. It's such a dream come true that we're restoring this now. Can you imagine when all of that paintwork is restored on the walls, the difference that it's going to make and the way the gold will glint in the light when we've added the chandeliers and the wall lights. This is a dream. I think I am hallucinating French onion soup by this point, so straight in for that now. Help me! <laughs> I didn't realize it was locked on this side. Thank you so much. Hi guys, how are you? Morning, morning. <laughs> it's more cheese with a bit of soup rather than soup with yeah. a bit of cheese. It's a bit spicy. Though. Yeah, it's spicy cheese, which is so good. A little bit. We need spice. Mm -hmm. No? Sorry. It's going to warm up. Try, baby. Oh, that You're wearing that again. It's the only thing that's semi warm. <laughs> it's also adorable on you. Thank you. <laughs> your face. <laughs> You're not wearing your matching one today. Well, I would like. <laughs> it does far we have one like that because, you know, I cannot. I, yeah, that's for Ken, not for Barbie. But I could have one for Barbie. You lighten up my day, Philip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there goes Kirsty, looking busy. I think I'm going to pop out to the garden now that I'm fortified with onion soup. See what's happening out there. I wonder if that's for the pruning of the trees. Like I was stalking you because I followed you all the way along and you couldn't see me. I'm just gonna go around and find all the piles of sticks I've just left everywhere. I wondered if that was it. It's because of the pruning. Yes. yes. So how did it go? It's gone okay. Yep, I've reduced them quite a lot. So I've taken the like the main leader of the um, the fig trees out. Yes. Because you couldn't reach any. You of couldn't. Them couldn't get anything. Um. So hopefully I've kind of trained them. Oh, to be nice. Along the wall and a bit more 2D rather than sticking out. Yes. Them. So. Uh, we do like all of our trees to be two-dimensional when possible at La Land. Of course. Well, the espaliers have been done now, so they've been um, the older trees that we put in to start with. They've all been pruned right back for the winter. So excellent. Um, hopefully, it will give the newer ones a chance to catch up on the growth. So I'm thinking in spring, hopefully they'll all be blossoming together. Yeah, and they'll look similar as well. Yeah, within within a year, I don't think you'll be able to tell too much. Hopefully. Oh, that's so good. Okay, I'm going to go and have a little look. Okay. And it's actually quite a good sign that I can't tell which are the old ones and which are the new ones. So I have no idea which are which. This must be new one. It looks a little small, perhaps. They are going to look so perfect when the blossom starts in the spring. Right, this is it. Back inside. Bye, lovelies. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Yes, yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. We have a very dejected Philip. It's hard to take seriously with the outfit, I'm going to be honest. What is it that you don't like about having to go and find a pig's trotter? First of all, I don't know the word in French, pied de porc. Yeah, that would work, exactly. Yeah. Well, that was one. <laughs> so that problem's gone. Secondly, the store will be closed when I get there. Wait, if you run now. I'm tired. I've Fourthly, just... you don't want to eat the pig's trotter. It's the main one. <laughs> I have to make oh, my grandmother's casserole. I had to buy pig skin the other day for your aunt. Yeah, I'll be using that pig's pigskin so that's good luckily it went into the freezer mm. i need some duck Lucky. fat as well 
Mm. Will you get the duck fat as well as the pig foot? Is there anything else you need? Maybe like a pig snout, <laughs> pig's tail? Uh -huh. No, we're good. We're good then. <laughs> we yeah. used to have some of that. <laughs> Look, I'm learning the French classics. Amory's coming tomorrow. We both loved our grandmother's cassoulet. I'm going to nail this. Did she use the... Oh, yes. My grandmother did everything properly. <clears throat> she once told me she couldn't make... I can't remember. She couldn't make a soup au chou, which is a cabbage soup, without the neck of a goose. We had to go to every butcher's in the whole area to find the neck <laughs> of a goose. So, yes, I need uh, the pig's trotter. I'm wondering if you would be able to make two versions, one with, one without, and see if it actually makes a difference. Okay, look, we're lucky I'm making one. Just get me a trotter. See, I can't. I can't leave the curtains, darling. I, I know, I can't leave this dog. Look. I'll look after the dog. No, but he's, he's subtle. I'll look after the dog. He's subtle. Ron is going to shut. Oh. Good luck. The car is back. Will he have had success? How did it go? Very well. Did you manage to find them? Um, the feet, you mean? Well, well, I only needed one foot. I was very reasonable in my foot <laughs> requests. No, pig, pig's feet. But they did Not have do. calf's feet. Did you get a calf's foot? I got a calf's foot. Okay, look, I'm going to look up to see. Maybe it works. I don't know. I'll look it up. What about the uh, duck fat? I found that. Yes! It's supermarket number two, <laughs> store number four. Philip is a hero. I've just looked it up, and apparently a calf's foot will do yeah, in a pinch. Yeah. It's supposed to be with pork, but no, it will do. It'll have the same effect. The only reason we need the blasted trotter in the first place <laughs> is because it adds a little bit of a gelatinous texture to it. So that's what cheese. we need. I'm doing this the proper way, Philip. And Philip's brought us little apéro nibbles whilst we cook. A bit of sausage roll. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. The reason I've become obsessed with Castellin is actually thanks to Marie because we were at John Camel's chateau and Camel was speaking to Marie about French cuisine and said this is the best book to get as far as he's concerned. So I bought it for Marie to look at it. She seemed really excited about it. And now I'm super excited because it's very, very clear and it gives you all of the traditional French food, starting with all of the sauces, which I'm definitely going to be going through. And I love the way it's presented with everything very clearly shown. But I thought I'd start with a cassoulet because this was one of my grandmother's specialities. But I have to say, the ingredients are slightly putting us off. I have to roll this, this is skin of pork. I have to roll it up and then I have to add it to the jarret de pork. This is a demi salt so this has been pre-salted. What is a jarret? I think it's like a ham a hook or something, I'm not too sure what you call that in English. And then we're supposed to have the pig foot in there. We don't have it, so we have got a calf's calf. Absolutely <laughs> massive calf foot. Now uh, that's mm. to go in. No, Delicious. Mm, <laughs> going to be so good. And this is for tomorrow night. Natty and Amory are coming to have dinner with us tomorrow night. And Natty is as enthusiastic about this. Natty, if Philip. you're watching this, please. Look away. Just look away. Like look away. That. So I've got to roll that up and then I have to marinate two duck breasts. And this is just the tip of the iceberg because tomorrow we add sausage, we add pork shoulder, we add lamb what? shoulder, there's other things that go in as well. And For six people? Yes, all of that for six. And we're four and I know you and I know Amory, so I don't mind cooking for six. No, I know, but that looks like more like, it's like for, for it's ten. It's crazy, isn't it? It's madness. And then here we've got the duck fat, which luckily Philip managed to find. Yes. That's going to be used tomorrow. And then I have the white beans, the haricot lingot, which I'm just going to soak in cold water overnight. I'm going to get started. <laughs> and let's see how it turns out tomorrow you have to start the day before that's why i'm cooking now just to put this all in perspective this is cooking level one like as basic as it gets in this book cooking level one so i have to blanch these i have boiling salted water in they go okay. oh that's the worst one that's that's definitely the worst one and, oh. and these i marinate that somehow seems easy to deal with I'm on to a much more pleasant part of the recipe now. Whilst they're blanching over there, I have put 
cloves and an onion. I have a curry. Very festive. It needs to go. Very festive. And I'm making a bouquet garni. It's supposed to be a rosemary based one. So we have rosemary, lots of thyme. These are just from the garden outside the door. And here's bay leaves that we collect often. We have a huge hedge of bay in the garden. So there we go. I'll just wrap that up. And that's our bouquet garni. This is fun, you see. My beans are soaking in cold water and they're off into the fridge for the night. Once I blanched the meat, I drained it, rinsed it and put it back into a saucepan full of cold water. And now I have to bring that to the boil. And as soon as the saucepans come to the boil, I'm going to add the carrot, the onion and the bouquet garni and leave it to cook for a minimum of three hours. Because what I'm creating here is the fond de cassoulet. It's the stock that will be created in there. That's what's going to be used to start the cassoulet tomorrow. Meanwhile, the duck thighs are in a dry rub of salt, pepper and bay leaves. And they're going to just sit in that all night in the fridge. Nearly there and then we can go up. Look, those things are lovely. Do you not think it looks like cool? Delightful. Yes, it does. I don't want to think about it. Now we just leave that to cook for three hours. Philip and I have both been completely put off by tonight's preparations. We're really not hungry. But I realised my grandmother is still speaking to me today. Because when I didn't feel like eating, I instinctively made what she used to make for me when I wasn't well, which is just chicken stock with some vermicelli, the little angel's hair pasta. So I'm taking that to bed and I think we're starting the crown tonight, aren't we? The final season. Yes. Philip, I see you went for the same kind of spode cup, but I would mm. say there the similarity between our meal ends. It's healthy, it's sorbet. That's that's wine and sorbet. Mm. That's it's a very beautiful. balanced diet, fruit based. Fine, I'm not even gonna argue. Let's go upstairs and enjoy our night. I'll probably have a little bit of a sandwich in a bit, but I'm thinking just dessert and wine to start with. <laughs> Get the most important things out right? of the way. Right, that's what I thought.